we're going to solve the following equations by graphing. So in example one, we're going to solve this equation here, x squared plus 2x minus 8 equals 0. So solving means you're going to find the x values. This is set to 0, um, so you all just have numbers here. There's not a y equals, you're only solving for x. Um, we'll talk about that more in a second. So to graph this, we're going to need to complete the square. So even though there's not a y value there, we still treat um, the completing square method the same. So we're going to group those two terms. And I'm going to rewrite this out, spacing it out so I can put that blank in there, minus 8. Now the equals 0 needs to be here. I prefer to put it over on this side um, so that it's not my way when I add, um, you know, sub continue to write down some numbers here. So I'm just going to put the equals zero there. So remember in this blank, just a reminder, it's b over two squared. That is the formula we use to find that value. So this is your b value. So two divided by two is one. One squared is one. So we're going to add one there, which means we have to take one away. So subtract one there to balance it out. All right, so then that zero equals, it's very important it stays an equation because you can only solve if it is an equation. So then we're going to write this as the square of the binomial. So when we have our x squared, so that means we're dealing with x, all of the signs are positive, and we just need to square root that one, and that becomes the value there. So then minus eight minus one would give us minus nine. So we have a vertex of negative one, negative nine. Remember, it always looks like the opposite sign for the h value. So we're going to plot, we already have a scale in here as well. So we're going to go negative 1 and down to negative 9. Then we're going to go and our op parabola opens up. The width is just our regular width. So that means you go over 1. However far you go over, you square that. So over 1, up 4. Over 1, up 4. Or sorry, over 1, up 1 first. What am I doing? Over 1, up 1. I apologize about that. We'll have to ignore that point. Over 2, up 4. I was jump into that step, over 2, up 4. Okay, so we're going to connect this. Now, that's not going to be quite enough because I need to see my x-intercepts. But I wanted to show that that because that's typically what we do is we look at that um, so far. So now I have to go further. So if I go from the vertex over 3, 1, 2, 3, 3 squared is 9. So I'm going to go up 9, over 3, up 9, and we see it lands perfectly on the x-intercepts, which is nice if we're solving graphically. Now, realistically, that's not gonna be the case all the time, but we'll start off with questions like this. I prefer to ask that. So otherwise you would have to estimate what the answer is on the x-axis. Okay, so it doesn't look like it, but my line's supposed to go right through that point. So that would mean that the solution is the x values right here. So the x-intercept. So we'd say x equals negative four and two. Now, often you're going to be asked to verify, particularly when solving graphically, to make sure your graph is um, accurate. So let's show how to verify on this question. So verify is like checking your answer by substitution. So if this is my equation, we're going to use it. So I'm going to write it down again for us. We're going to substitute negative 4 into this equation and make sure it equals the right side, 0. And then we have another verify. So we have two answers. You're going to have two verifications. So we put in the negative 4. So negative 4 squared is 16. Minus 8 minus 8 equals 0. 16 minus 8 is 8. 8 minus 8 is 0. So if 0 equals 0, yes, negative 4 is correct. Let's verify the second one. I'll just have to move my camera down here a little bit. So verifying the second one, we've got our equation we're plugging in 2. So 2 squared plus 2 times 2 minus 8 equals 0. 4 plus 4 minus 8 equals 0. 4 plus 4 is 8. 8 minus 8 is 0. You want to show some steps. You want to always show the substitution, a little bit of the math, and that. Don't just substitute it in and jump to that. Sometimes I think people skip some steps and not sure that they actually necessarily for sure did the math and don't catch any errors. I like to go back then and just show that, that because I verified it, that yes, those two are the solutions.